What's up, guys? I wasn't going to go live. Because I am so pissed. Like, so pissed. So, I'm live. Shocker. Um, if I didn't know what I know, if I didn't know what I know about, like, what's going on, like, actually going on, now what we're seeing, okay, now what we're seeing, but what's actually going on, if I didn't know that, I would, I would be losing my shit. Okay, I am losing my shit, but it'd be a lot worse. So I wasn't going to go live because I was that pissed. Um, and I've been trying to stay out of the negativity side of it and just sharing with you guys the good. But after what I watched just a minute ago, um, it's best... How do I put it? it? Yeah, and that's why I wasn't going to... I was going to go live, update you guys and everything. And I'm like, after what I saw... So, so fucking angry. So fucking angry. But, that being said, if we can channel that, which I'm working on. I'm really working on that right now. And I thought, I'm going to go live with you guys right now while the em emotion is flowing like fuck right now um it is i'm just gonna go live and you guys can work through this with me all right hi layla so yeah i just watched now here's what bothers me here's what upset me Give me a sec. So we, the last two weekends, we, we worked really hard um, to get to these rides, to these freedom rides. Um, and our horses were amazing. Like, it was incredible. You guys got to watch it. And our horses love to bring peace. Horses are love. Horses are, are amazing creatures. And what I watched just a minute ago is what upset me because the abuse that those horses dealt with, anyone who knows horses can see it. They were forced to run over people. They were forced to trample people. Those horses did not want to do that. And this is why I don't watch this stuff. This is why. I say to, say to you guys, do not watch stuff like this because if you're not there in person, there's nothing you can do about it. And that's where the pain's coming from because there's nothing I can do about it. Um, and I am expressing this live with you right now because um, I promise you guys that I'm going to share as much as I can, even when I don't want to. And there's a lot happening right now. And I said this morning to somebody, it feels like today shit's going to hit the fan. And um, that's what we're watching. But the hesitation in the horses um, when they were being forced to run over these people. The hesitation, it is not natural for these horses to do that. They are being forced. They are being abused. Our horses rode through the convoys the last two weekends with absolutely no force, with absolutely no abuse. 
they loved the energy. They loved the joy and the peace and the kids. They loved the kids. My horse stood for an entire day with kids petting him and he loved it. And so yeah, I just got a notification. So one of the guys that got ran over just died. Speculation, this is just what I'm hearing. It was a notification. I'm assuming that would be correct. That is unfucking acceptable. But to use our animals, use our horses, we were representing a group of people. I mean, I'm, re I'm wearing it right now, if you guys can see it. If you guys can see my shirt. We are representing peace. We are representing love. And that's what we rode in with. And for them to use our symbol to kill is wrong. And that is not okay. So, what are we going to do now? What are you going to do now? Physically, the moment, nothing we can do. So, remember, we are in an energy war. We are in a cyber war, energy war. Um, this is all about our energy. How do they control us? Through our emotions. Doing things that make us angry. God bless those people who are, who are standing right there singing O Canada because I don't know that I could have done that. I'd probably be in prison right now. So that's what got me angry. That's the emotion I am going through at the moment. Um, watching the animals I love being used to hurt. And I'm not okay with that. So something's about to happen. I feel it. But what I want us to focus on is what we can do. Um, you should have seen our horse chat that we have. Our horse chat with all our people it was just like blowing up. Because it's really fucked up. But, um, again, the symbolism, they try and take our symbols and make them evil, right? We know this. Our symbols were the horses. So clearly we made an impact. So clearly we made a big fucking impact. Because... If it made a big enough impact that they wanted to take our symbol, right, Lila? It's okay. It's okay, just let that flow through you. But if we made such an impact that they wanted to steal our symbol of the horses and the love and the peace, you know, a better place. Thank you, Jeff. <sighs> I told you guys I wouldn't go live because I knew this is where I was emotionally right now. <laughs> um, but hey, it's okay. You guys are like my family. <laughs> Y'all are my family. <laughs> so let's share it with you share the emotion with you um but we made the impact so big that they wanted to take our symbols and use it for evil but they can't 
because they are on the backs of horses. They are backs. They cannot brainwash a horse to do evil. They can abuse a horse to do evil. They can use a horse to do evil. But they cannot make a horse want to do evil. Ever. So good luck. It's not going to work. So we now are onto them. We know that they take our, our amazing symbols and our the, the beautiful things that we create and they make them evil. We know that. So we keep it. We keep it back. Thank you, Caroline. I miss you. I just like have a lot of emotion. Anyone who loves horses, <laughs> you know, it's not okay. But we are winning. We are winning. And, um, I, I am trying to get down to Milk River again. I don't know if I can take a horse. I do need a truck. <laughs> um, because I want to, I'm putting together a book, actually. Uh, two books, but the one specifically is, is the stories. These are stories from the truckers, from the front lines. Because I don't want this to ever be forgotten. <sighs> Thank you, Caroline. It's wrong. And that's why I'm sharing this with you guys. Because I need you all to know what's going on. So many... You know... And, and I'm... I am wish I hadn't watched that. But at the same time... I'm glad I did because... I don't know if I can see, even say it. I'm glad I'm, I did. But just... We do have to face these things because if we don't, it keeps going. If we keep our head in the sand because we don't want to watch the evil, we don't want to see it. And, and I remember two years ago when I was first watching the videos about the kids and what they were doing to the kids. It's why they got away with it because we didn't want to see it. We didn't want to believe it. Yeah, no doubt, Sandra. He's not in power. We know this. And like I said, if I didn't know what I know, know what I know, know, okay? Know what we're seeing, okay? I, what I saw triggered an emotion in me. Even though I know the truth, um, it still triggered emotion in me because I have a special place in my heart for horses. Um, and I know the psychological, I know the horse psyche very well and so i saw the horse psyche not wanting to do evil and being forced to be used as a tool and i had choice things that i wanted to do and say and that's why i wasn't gonna go live because it's bad stuff that wanted to come out of my mouth like bad stuff but I, I went live because I want to talk to you guys. And I want to see you, you guys. Um, but if I didn't know what was really going on. It would have broke me down. Versus just triggered an emotion. It didn't break me down. I see what's going on. I see what they're trying to do. I see what the result is. And I see who's really in control. And for that reason I can come to you and like you know we can we can work through this and use that as emotion use that emotion to bring peace and love because when we know we've already won that's all that matters so guys uh on that note i really like to focus on some positive stuff um updates uh, I will I'll post in this live later. Yeah, there, Amanda, that's true. There's there was the looks on their faces are just not even human. I don't know, but you know what? Here's my thought. Okay, this is my thought because 
if I was a cop standing there hearing these people crying and sharing their stories, I would break down and like break rank, okay? How do we know that you even can hear them? The very likelihood of them having something in their ears, programming them, they are probably listening to orders. In their ears, they can't even hear us. That's what I thought. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So, uh, that's, that's one thing I'm getting. Um, really, really focus. And I please encourage you. Uh, I, I went against my um, rule of watching anything negative because it's, it's an emotional war here. It's an emotional war. And if we watch stuff that's negative or makes us think things are ending or makes us think um, sad things, negative things, angry things, anything that is not positive, we are, we are letting them win. So please focus entirely on only watching those who are spreading love. And that's why I try not to do these kinds of lives. So I'm not going to apologize because I really wanted to um, come on here and share in person with you what's happening. Uh, I said I wasn't going to because I was worried I was going to say things I shouldn't. For real. You know, bad things. But um, at the end of the day, I really want to encourage everybody to watch the, the lives that are encouraging. Watch not, not the fear porn stuff. There is uh, one trucker, Troy. He's one of the frontline truckers. He is absolutely amazing. I love his, I love his humor. And I love the way he um, kind of just taking it, taking the stroll. Um, love you, Leah. Thank you so much. I, I'm working on going live in other places because I don't know how much longer this platform is going to last. And if any of you guys are not in my Telegram channel yet, let me know. Um, because if, if, this, if this whole thing crash and burns, <laughs> Facebook particularly, uh, I want to be able to transfer us all over to whatever next media, social media we're going to be on together. So if you are, don't have my channel yet, please message me to get that. Um, but Troy... Ugh. Salt water on the face, you know. Okay, so now that I'm done crying, um, <laughs> here's the deal. Okay, we're going to focus on some good stuff right now. Um, so, so please follow some of these truckers. I'll put him uh, in the chat in here so you guys can go follow him. He is in Alberta. He actually is from Alberta, and he uh, is a chuck wagon racer, and they're planning to have a chuck wagon that's all about freedom. Freedom. And, um, I do look like I just, like, totally ugly cried. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so, he's going to Freedom Truck. Everywhere he goes all over Canada this year, make sure and sign his truck. Um, it's the freedom. It's gonna be the freedom truck and the and the chuck wagons. It's pretty cool. I'm very excited for him. I'll put his his uh, link in this in this live, so you guys can can follow him. Follow him, and he's he's. I love his sense of humor. Like he said, oh well, if they come get us in the night, put it take us to prison. I guess we'll move the party in in there. I hear the food's good and it's warm. So, anyways, he has a great sense of humor. Um, I like him. Hi, Stacy. All right, so we're gonna move forward. Um, if you guys are just tuning in, we just went over what I just saw. It was really bad and very negative and had me extremely upset. Um, but if you, so first of all, there's the, the YouTube channel. If you guys aren't following my YouTube and then my Telegram channel, Please jump into those. Um, if you don't have them, just message me or I'll put them here in this chat. Uh, but there was a song I want you guys to hear. I thought it was really awesome. So I'm going to share it with you guys. I put it on YouTube um, 
George Schmidt, I think it was his family that sang it, and then somebody put together a, uh, the pretty cool, it's pretty cool, so let me turn this around. <clears throat> oh. No, we want to do it right now. Well, then I guess we'll edit it. <laughs> we don't want to premiere in six hours. All right, guys. Um, scheduled. No, don't want to schedule. What is today? Video is private. What is going on? Okay. <laughs> Technology, give me a second. Hey, Stacy. Oh, well, you know what? Like, honestly, that, that was like something that, you know, I feel like it's just kind of happened lately. And I think it was because of all this, because I made a promise at the beginning of this year that I was going to be authentic and I was going to be vulnerable and I was going to share the truth. Okay, we're back. Um, internet. Love the internet. Um, but anyways, I, I made my promise to be authentic and real. And look at that. You know what? That's what they do. They log you off and then they make you think you lost a live and then nobody finds it again. They're messing with our, mess with our systems. All right, so I'm gonna share this with you guys. Um, sorry, I must have lost a few of you. Hopefully you find your way back. Oh, it wants to premiere in a minute. Okay, I'll just talk. I'll just talk for a minute and 39 seconds. I can do that. Okay, so my plan is to go down to the border um, Monday, maybe. And um, we're waiting for this to premiere. I guess we're doing a premiere. Let's check it out. I'm doing a premiere. Oh, wait, does that have music with it? Oh, look at that, it's all fancy. Okay. Okay, so we'll let it do its thing. Um, but anyways, it, it's, uh, it's pretty cool because I'm going to go down and get some stories. I want to put them in a book. Um, I got so many cool signatures on my saddle these last two weekends. Um, so it's pretty cool. I, I've been watching uh, Troy. Uh, he's front of the line there with the truckers. I love that he's like no drama. And he shares the truth, but he doesn't share the fear porn. Um, that's a rule for me when I watch information. So don't send me anything. I'm probably not going to watch it. Um, I have my sources that I watch and listen to because I trust them to only share the good because in my heart, I believe that that is what we have. Oh, look at this guys. We're, we're gonna go, look at that.
Rick's trucks. Isn't that amazing? So, um, let me just get uh, his name. Let's get the mirror again. So you guys can follow George Schmidt. Like, see, my dad is a truck driver. Um, yeah, it's, 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 so I don't know if you guys in the U.S. know. Thank you so much, Henry. So what I did is I uploaded uh, George Schmidt's, that is his, him and his family singing, and they put together a collage of pictures. Uh, I just, I can keep listening to that song. It just feels so good. It feels so good. So I'll put the link to them. Hey, Tony, you can watch me from the beginning, but it was mostly me crying and being really angry. So <laughs> I don't have to. Um, but I wanted to update you guys and show you this amazing video. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. I will put that in the link as well in the comments because I want to make these lives very educational and very valuable. All right. So if you guys have stuff you want to know, if you have stuff you want to see, please message me or while I'm live right now, tell me what you want because I can read you comments right now. Otherwise, I kind of get lost. Um, but anyways, I, I try not to, Stacy. 
sometimes it's a little, I got very emotional when I saw that this, this few minutes ago when I saw what I saw and it was just like, pissed me right the fuck off. Yes, Tony, that's my plan, just to keep everybody up to date. You guys down in the south are going to have some truckers roll through. Here's what I want. Get your flags. If you can f go to uh, Amazon or somewhere, order yourself some Canadian flags and fly some U.S. and Canada flags. Please go live. Please send me every little bit of info and pictures and trucks that you see. Send me... Um, I definitely did some ugly crying at the beginning of this, Henry. Go ahead. <laughs> That's why I said this this live is has no filter. So be careful if your kids watching or if you care. Um, it's not gonna have a filter. That's just the way it is today. Um, we usually don't have a filter, but it's getting to where I have less of a filter because it's who I am. Um, but anyways, I wanted to come on see you guys. Uh, feel you guys. See how everybody was doing. See if I anyone had questions. Um, there's a lot going on in Ottawa right now. I feel like it's a lot of psyop and a lot of um, distraction. Just what I saw was not okay, and I really didn't didn't like it, and I want to talk about it. So, anyways, um, but Troy is a good person to follow. I'll put his link in here. He's really awesome. He's got great sense of humor. George Schmidt, they have a channel on Telegram that's awesome with their music. He's great. So my focus, guys, is where your your focus is, is where your energy will flow. And that is truth. So wherever that true uh wherever that happens to be flowing, um, that's what we're creating. Oh my gosh. Um, it's really exhausting. All this emotion is really exhausting. Hi, Lily. So the whole point of all this is just to keep you guys updated. Um, I didn't think I'd have the energy today. Uh, I had a really great session with my horse, uh, the client or my client horse. She's beautiful. She's airborne blood cross, beautiful white horse. You guys have watched me work with her. I'm almost done working with her and we're really going to miss her. Miss her and Mary Lynn, uh, my favorites. We're going to go do some uh, practicing this weekend in a bigger arena. So we're going to have fun. Um, but it's been really hard to work on business, focusing on business and freedom fighting. So it's been a really bit of a juggle. But I'm trying to do both. Trying to do both. Um, it's just stressful right now. It's very stressful. I, I did not think... I did not think three weeks ago that I'd be doing this. Hey, Steve. You totally missed my absolute breakdown. Hey, Henry. Is are we? Who who's your brother? Who is your brother? So we can pray for him. Henry, is it? Because my cousin Randy's there. Can you type it in as who's your Frank? Frank Dirksen? Where's he from? Maybe we can do a prayer before we end the live. Do you guys want to do prayer with me? What do you guys think? Manitoba. How is he? What does he need, Henry? Okay. That's your prayer. Hey, Taryn. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to do a prayer. Uh, we're going to do a prayer for Frank. All right. So you guys pray with me. Dear Lord, today we want to come bring to you all of these stresses that are laying on our heart. There's so much pain, there's so much confusion, there's so much anger, and it's it's extremely frustrating. And the pressures the truckers are facing right now, um, I wanna especially lift up Frank today and 
give him courage, help him to feel, send somebody to his truck door or send, send something to him, help him see that the absolute change maker he is and how even though he's one person, he, he may not feel like he can make the impact that just him being a drop in the ocean of the truckers is so impactful. Help him to see his value and help him to understand how powerful this is that he can be there and that whatever it is that he's stressing about, if it's something at home, if he's feeling any sort of strain or pressure that that is resolved and that uh, if it's money that's needed, that that comes to him, whatever it is that he needs, that it shows up as well as any of the other truckers out in Ottawa today that are feeling the strain of maybe needing to leave because they don't want to lose their trucks. The, the fear is hard. Please give them some type of courage and some strength, something that that lifts them up, helps them to understand and gives them that extra boost of power and strength and, and courage today and resolves the issue. Um, and anyone who's trying to get into Ottawa to support, show a clear pathway so they can go in um, and feel the presence because that feeling is so amazing. Um, and just a, and a complete higher value and viewpoint of the entire world um, that you bring together this. It's powerful to see. So thank you for everything that you have done and we're praying for an extra boost of absolute power this weekend. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Henry, for sharing that. And we are uh, going to do some extra praying today. Extra praying today because, like I said this morning, I feel like shit is about to hit the fan. So... Tell Frank we love him. We appreciate him. Uh, if he needs, if he needs like whatever he needs, if he needs some phone calls, if he needs some emails, we got him. We got him. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for praying with me. And this has been quite a powerful journey. You're so welcome, Henry. This has been a powerful journey of a uh, humbling experience for me. So, that's all. That's all I had. Um, love you guys. Thanks for watching. I will post those things as I promised below. And, um, I don't, I haven't, you know, Stacy, when I left religion, um, I'm still, I still love God and, you know, I, I believe in higher power and, and, um, there's a lot of controversy about who God is. So I have my own belief, but I always say, if someone's not sure, I say, God is love. So if you have love in your heart, you have a higher power you are connected to. So um, praying is just talking to that power. And yes, you're an empath, Stacy. So you, you're 100% part of that. I, I come from a very a background that has taught me the power. I understand how to pray. I know the logistics of prayer, um, but that doesn't make a prayer. Hey, Trisha, I, I, I will definitely do that sometime. It's actually kind of something that I need to get done. Hey, Henry. Okay, thank you so much. You too. Where are you at, Henry? Is Are you anywhere near there? Or are you back in Manitoba? And I just want to say thank you for sharing for your brother, for Frank. I'm I'm so blessed to be able to be part of this, guys. So blessed. Um, so being an empath is part of that source energy. Um, I kind of marry. I'm kind of working on marrying the two. Um, I do want to come to Manitoba, Henry. I don't know if you know the Emerson crew or the Win Winnipeg crew, but I'm pretty close to some of those guys. So. They are amazing human beings. I just, they are like my heroes. Amazing people. So strong. So strong and solid. 
Thank you, Stacy. I was I was crying. I wasn't gonna go live today, and I just felt like I needed to. Um. <laughs> so, Trisha, I will share my story sometime. There's so many parts of it. I uh, here's here's my theory on story sharing. Okay. Uh, it's like baking a cake. Your your um your guests are your audience. It's the people out there that you know you're sharing your story with, and they're all sitting around the table waiting for the cake. Now you can mix the batter, put it in a pan, put it in the oven. Those are all stages of a story. Mixing the batter is you're living it. Um an abusive situation, for example, you're living that abusive situation. So if you try and share it, it's like serving your guests the batter. It's not going to work. No one's going to eat it. Most people you try and tell don't believe you. They don't believe that you're going through that. Oh, yeah, whatever. Ah, oh, no, they would never do that. Of course, that's not true. That's what happens. And then you stick the, the, put the, put the cake in the pan yeah, aren't they amazing? Right, Henry? Awesome. I'm so glad you know them. Um, they did. They so did. So then when you put the cake in the pan, um, you put it in the pan. Now you can serve it to your guests. Now this is when you're kind of getting out of the situation. Uh, still not received. Still no one's going to believe you. Still, still not... You you share it with tears in your eyes, with anger, with frustration. The story is not well received. Um, you have so much pain. You have not healed from it. And then you stick the cake in the oven and you start to bake it. Now, if you pull it out of the oven, it's still not done. And it still will not be eaten. It still not be received. So, guys, share your story with the... Um, uh, share your story with your people and with those around you as if it were a cake. Is the cake done? Have you healed? Are you in a place you can share it without anger and pain and resentment and, and tons of frustration? If you can, the cake is done and it will be received very well. So there's parts of my story that are still baking. Um... There's, still, there's parts of the story that are still badder. Um, so I'm sharing with you guys. I'm going to share with you the cake that's done. Um, it's decorated. It's, it's delicious. And um, there, there's parts of it that still will make you cry, but not from the point of anger. Thank you, Stacy. I am working on that. That's like, I'm going to accept that as a compliment. I have struggled with my words all my life it's not something i have ever been good at and i have decided that i'm going to choose not to say it that way um so i'm working on my words working on my words um i write better than i speak but now i'm working on speaking how i feel and my words can come out better so um anyways guys so like i said this was a very odd live very strange one. I am so glad I did it though because I would have sat here angry all night. Um, I should be, my team, my business team is in Florida right now doing lives, tagging me, giving me shout outs, made me cry already today um, because I should be there and I can't because of these mandates. So I am okay with that. Actually, I am okay with that because this is very important right now. And without our freedom, we have nothing. So I am here. Um, I am planning some trips to the south, but that depends on a lot of things. So we will see. But I will share this video. I want you guys to see this music. Please just keep it. Hey, Ray. Every time I want to go off of here, somebody hops on. Oh, yes, Stacy. I am really glad you did. And I, I want these lives to get out more um, because it was, what a gong show. Hey, Ray, where are you? Where are you at? And if anyone hopped on here late, you missed me breaking down and crying and being really pissed off. 
the beginning. Um, and they're moving through that emotion because uh, of what I had seen with the horses in Ottawa. So uh, sending those horses a lot of love. I, I miss them in the prayer, but I've been praying for them since I saw that video. Um, and, and then we prayed for Frank in Ottawa when his brother's on here and he asked us to pray for him for strength. So we did a prayer for Frank and the other truckers and uh, we shared some pretty cool videos. Tomorrow, Missouri. That's where my aunt lives. So tomorrow, Attila and I will probably be going live and we have a big show ready for you guys. Pretty cool show. So watch for that. I'll probably post about it on my wall so we know what time. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, it was a great live. Thank you guys for chopping on and supporting me. Um, I'll try to do more of these because they actually do energize me a little bit more than I thought because I've been pretty exhausted and dealing with a lot of pain from getting kicked. Uh, so when I got twisted to the side Friday when I was trimming horses, it twisted my... I went to the chiropractor yesterday, but it twisted my knee and then jacked up my back really bad. So... Um, I went to the chiropractor, got all the bones put in place, but the muscles and all the way into the uh, uh, the hip flexors really, really, really hurt. So it's hard to even like hoist myself off the floor because it's actually that painful. But it's okay. Um, it's all good. We'll get better from there. So love you guys. I will do some more updates tomorrow. And um, watch this from the beginning if you missed it. And we will talk to y'all soon. Have a good night.